Okay. Well, let's uh, speed this up a bit. And, uh, oh, I almost forgot. One second. Uh... Okay, so. Yeah, I think that's better. Now you should be able to see, yeah, out of the deposit. And... But we do have enough coal right now. So, one worker stopped gathering coal as a coal deposit. Not out of range. We have a lot of water, a lot of food. Um, iron, glass, canvas, and adobe are a bit. Uh, oh, well, I do have some adobe, but none of these resources. That's a huge forest. Uh, come on. Let's send a couple of workers over there. More coal. Seven, that's the maximum number of aircraft that we have. Um, music is a bit loud. Okay, so what can we find here? Another settlement. Um, we approach a hovel on the edge of nowhere. Some settlers may wish to join us to leave the land soil behind. Settlers by necessity are hard and tireless. I recalled our own home just abandoned. The people here would have to uproot their lives soon, like we did. Uh, we look for migrants. A few of the settlers seem intrigued by our vision, but they want assurance that they're leaving for a happier home. Mm. Yes, yeah. Jubilant inhabitants. Well, they're not jubilant because we are lacking... Um, um, what was it? Desires? Or something like that? Okay. Um, I need to build more houses. Oh, this pleasure from nearby fan. I forgot about that one. Anyways, we can build house here. Maybe. Uh, Maybe here. Yeah, that looks okay. Mm, they're satisfied to a mediocre, fan too close to their homes. Uh, one desire of a community to feel jubilant. Um, desires, desires. Yeah. Nothing here. Um, decreases coal usage by 30%. That would be useful. Increases lift. 
Let's research that first. Um, so we're just gonna leave one of them. That's okay. Let's move on. I think that's the next kingdom over there, right? Got some quads over here. Insufficient aircraft. Let's gather some of it. Uh, maybe we should upgrade our hangar. That probably needs an upgrade over here. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so what are you? Amelia Passage. Melia is a small kingdom, but efficient. Their people value machinery to work the land. Our attempts to ally are met with blank stares. They find our technology entertaining, but ultimately think it's useless. Melia was not a kingdom by its population alone, for it was only a few settlements in size. But all worked marvelously as one clock with many gears, with a rigid structure of rows. No leader existed, for none was needed as each knew their place among their peers. Oh. Interesting. Definitely looks cool. So... Hmm. More technologically oriented. Um, we must prove our worth. We must prove our worth to gain allegiance. With no leader to convince, our demonstration must be directed to the public. Uh, directed at the public. The million wind spinners are key to the kingdom's efficiency, but one of the three no longer functions. We learn that there used to be many in these plains in the days of the ancients, but they have all been lost. If we could find one more working wind spinner and return it to Melia, surely they would see the value in our cooperation. Each million resident um, brusquely walked past us, but it was not of malice, it was of efficacy, for they believed a person not contributing was a grave sin against all. Shall find a wind spinner. Mm. We search for technologies, blueprints, we search for... Uh, we seek to barter our resources. We search for technologies among the locals, but cannot find any willing to explain them to us. Only by offering payment of relics, um, which they could use to learn from, will they give us time. Okay. For as long as Amelia was alive, their entire goal was to move quickly, and no one could slow them from the given tasks, except uh, with promise of even greater efficacy. Vertical rotor generates lift to keep us aloft. Average cost, high fuel, no worker. Oh, high fuel doesn't sound so good. Minaret provides faith, an important desire within a small range. Street lamp provides light which can illuminate paths to make inhabitants happy. And charcoal hut. Transforms wood into coal, which is stored at the town center. Workers don't like living near the charcoal hut because of its fumes. That seems interesting. And that is a desire, so I'm gonna purchase those two. Um, and we retru- wait, that's it? That's it. Hmm.
Uh, let's gather some water and more wood. Is there something to eat around here? Oh, wait. There's a relic ruin, a uh, ruin over here. Mm. That's where we need to. Um, yeah, a broken wind spinner. We need to find a functional wind spinner and return it to Amelia Passage. Mm. Storage. Gonna build some more of these. Um, one over here. Um. Oh, wait a second. Mm. Okay, uh, that's good enough. Another water tower over here, and another warehouse next to this one. Well, maybe next to this one. Um, and maybe one more over here. Just to, oh, just to balance it out. Wait, where is it? Okay. Well, uh, that doesn't look too bad, I guess. Um, done, done, and done. Okay, now we're up to 80 storage for water and food, and 200 for resource storage. Uh, maybe I could... Let's move those houses over here. Um, no, this one. Okay, this one first. Come on. Oh, I need to move this one first. Okay. And then this one. And now we can build another um, warehouse over here. Okay. I guess that works out. Now let's look for the um, broken wind spinner and on the way we can gather more food and yeah, this relic over here. Is still okay and call. Yeah, that's good enough. Uh, we only need one worker over there, and we're heading in the right direction. Fan upgrade, increased lift. Uh, next, increase maximum possible speed. 
in uh, wait a second storage increases storage but a tower stacks up to two stories taking us a same amount of storage but costs fewer resources to build and no extra footprint okay okay a portion desires yeah we need to research that one well at least have it researched i don't know if we can build it um i think it's that glass how do we make glass resorts glass smelter that's the next building okay In that case, let's gather some more quads. Um, to have enough for the glass smelter. That's a coal deposit over here. And we ran out of clay. The minaret researched. Oh, what was it? Resource glass smelter. That's too far. Wood storage is full. That's perfect. Uh, where is it? Too far. Okay. And we've got some clay over here as well. And water and another relic. Right, let's move over here first and have this relic um, yeah, uh, take the relic and then up to six relics now uh, town center resources increases efficiency or more storage lift also seems like a viable option um, proportion, desires, increases range by 50%. It's probably not so bad if we need fewer of, uh, of them. What's that? Unknown ruin. Okay. And... An unknown kingdom. Interesting. Uh, let's move to the ruin first. Found three relics in the ruin. Uh, in this ruin. And this unknown ruin is so too far. Gather more coal. Maybe I should upgrade um, our kingdom speed a bit. Oh. It's tilting. It's tilting a bit, right? Hmm. One degree to the back. That's okay. Settlers of the Gaia. A squat frame holds an ancient wind spinner. A small settlement has formed around it, though the spinner itself had been broken for a long time. The wind spinner did not function, for the settlers knew not how it worked, but formed a settlement around its attached shelter. 
We ask for the Windspinner quest. We look for migrants. Recruit. We ask for the Windspinner and tell him that one in Melia is broken. Um, at mention of Melia, the settlers gasp. The settlement originates from a band of Melian explorers, lost in the wastes and unable to return home. We are told conditions in the settlement have worsened. The windspinner is stealing connection um, has broken and it no longer turns. Though they think the spinner's parts can be used to fix the one in Melia. They agree to bring the components to Milia. If only we return with the settlers who wish to go back with us, we agree to set off. Not all settlers returned that day to Milia. Some, proud of the work from their own hands, stayed to continue their labor. We shall return the settlers and the windspin apart to Milia. And a few of them seem intrigued by our vision. And the spinners made farming a little easier, but no task was simple in those times. Recruit both of them. Um, housing block. How about over here? We only need two right now. Yes, that's okay. And another small settlement. Um, we near a squat clump of houses in the arid lands. Some may be tired of harsh work and may wish to join us for a change in their life. For settlers in any age are known to be as hard as the land they may walk across. Uh, we are not jubilant. But two more workers, that means we can complete this housing block over here. Thirty-four. Let's head over to... Oh wait, technically I should finish the quest first. Let's do that first. Um, the quest, and then we can visit this other kingdom over here. One step at a time. That's cool. And uh, there was some clay around here, right? Hmm. Still too far. Our speed is only 23% of our fastest possible speed. Add proportion buildings to increase this amount. Mm. Maybe I should research some more proportion. We are quite slow right now. Water storage full and food storage full. Come on. Ah, we return with the parts to Melia Passage. On our journey back, some of the settlers have been convinced of the Airborne Kingdom prophecy. And if you wish to join us, we journey together to the top of the windspinner. 
our new members agree that they should repair it themselves, for they know its workings. However, they need materials and time to make it functional again. Um. No. Re continue? Protected the wind spinner. Nor did anyone pay heed to visitors climbing around it. For such an isolated people, focused on their own tasks, could not fathom any harm from others trying the same. Repair the wind spinner, we give the required materials. Uh, uh, okay. Now. Ah, uh, desires, no resources, glass matter. They don't like living in a glass matter because of its fumes. Of course they don't. Uh, that way? That way. No. Um. No. Okay. And we balance it with two houses over here. Reassign to required. While we're already here, let's gather some uh, stuff. And now we wait. How much glass do we need? Five. Okay. Five glass. We have 16 idle workers. Maybe. We should build um, another academy. And that should double the speed of our research, right? enough food. Uh, quartz mine is a bit too far. No. Good. Um, the next research. Mm, increasing efficiency or increasing storage. Proportion. Generates proportion. Low cost, no fuel, one worker, low speed. Let's do that. That's the quest. No, we need one more glass. Insufficient aircraft, build more hangars. Um, one, two. That's it. We give the required materials and our new workers begin to repair the broken wind spinner. We must wait nearby for its completion. Um, street lamp, charcoal hut. I don't know if the charcoal hut is that important, but the street lamp uh, sounds like a nice thing to have. All researched. Mm. Here we can 
reduce the water consumption. Increases available planes. Got 15 idle workers. Maybe another academy is not a bad idea. I have a path around here. Ah. The wind spinner is fixed. That's the third one, right? As the wind spinner begins to turn anew, a remarkable sign occurs in Melia. The people pause from their duties. They marvel at the now functional technology, repaired by being connected and working together. Many million begin asking us questions, intrigued by possibility. A few even join our cause, convinced of our goals. They all agree. It is time to build a skyport and connect Melia with the outside world. That day, the Melian mindset changed. No longer was their own efficiency solely their purpose. They sought to increase the efficacy of all around them. For only then would they reach their own pinnacle as well. Construct a skyport. And we've got two more workers. Let's uh, stack some buildings. We wanna see how that looks like. One, two, three, four. Now we have two story buildings. Well, that doesn't look too bad. Uh, speed is down to 21%. But we're not tilting too much in any direction. Um, we've got enough coal, enough lift, water and food. Good. Right, I wanted to build another academy. Uh, basic academy. Since we can afford one more. Quartz mine is empty. Mm. Ah, let's gather some more water. Our workers have completed the new skyport. And now we have gained another ally. Wind powered. That was a steam achievement. Melia Passage. Another ally. With the Skyport complete, Melia Passage is now connected to us and its neighbors. A great number of workers have also joined our cause. Two more. They offer to supply us with plus one wood every hour. Now that they are connected to the skies, it should be easy. We must find the other kingdoms and connect them as well. Then all people will enjoy collective harmony and the prophecy will be complete. Um, let's see. Seek to trade for glass. No. And hunger upgraded. Um, what else? This one and housing block. Let's complete this housing block over here. For our 42 workers. That's quite a lot. 